Okay, uh, the second question, Jack. Okay, what are the types of suku and can you give me the most popular types of suku issue? Okay, suku, by the mention, if we start from the definition of a bond, or an Islamic bond, or Islamic fixed income securities, then the, the next level of definition would be the whether the bonds fall under the plain vanilla bonds or it could also fall under the exchangeable bonds like what we have done for Kazana uh, Malaysia a couple of times but I think the this question when, when you look at the, the nature of the question whether the question is asking on the angle of what kind of sharia contracts that you are using or what kind of commercial definition being used in the investors uh, community so that's why I just define first in terms of the available suku you have the plain vanilla suku so that will go for a corporate financing or project financing but at the same time it's also applicable for the what you call contractual the contracts used for example in the Malaysian uh, earlier development you would always see um, the f- deferred payment sale version or what we call Baik Bisaman Ajil and then the other version is uh, Murabaha so al- although they look <coughs> excuse me almost the same but um, they, they, they carry different uh, acceptability in the, the global Islamic financial market but uh, Driven by the investor base, then you start seeing the contract use to be different. Uh, for example, when Malaysia uh, won an issue out of a Malaysian corporate, which was uh, Kumpulan Gati Brahat, wanted to issue an Islamic bond uh, with the intention to distribute to the Middle East market or to the GCC market, uh, then the, the, the concept used was uh, Suku Al Ijara. So, in other words, in terms of uh, what kind of contracts uh, to be used uh, from the Sharia dimension, there are a lot of them and most of the time a few contracts or uh, the few concepts are put together to produce a uh, Sharia compliant Islamic bonds. Uh, by the same time, the other dimension of it will be with the corporate financing or project financing and in the Malaysian context you always see project financing uh, tend to be uh, one of the most popular issuances like a power project, water project highway project of course there were also corporate financing scenario where the first issue that you have seen in the earlier stage it was a, a corporate financing due to a nature of uh, the, the, the credit concept was a lot easier to be understood and uh, generally the investors base are uh, pretty much comfortable to a certain credit therefore when you introduce a new instrument with a new contract structure uh, at least the investor base have uh, only one issue to deal with which is structure so to, to, to put a summary to that question um, well, whatever the the the, is, I mean, the bonds available in the conventional market, you, you start seeing those version in the, in the Islamic space, uh, which uh, can still be developed as we move on. So that that, that would be my um, my answer to that uh, question. Although uh, there are a lot more, if you really want to elaborate or deliberate on uh, this understanding of in terms of the contracts uh, other than the, the nature of the financing requirement or the investment uh, feature of those instruments.